Hey guys, I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here one trailer at a time. Today, we're gonna look at a 2021 Paradigm model number 385 FL. This is a brand new floor plan from them, from these guys. We've been super excited, super eager to see this guy. Weighs just underneath 15,000 pounds. Five slides, front living room, rear cargo tray. Whole lot going for it. My friend Brandon Hannemeyer has a whole lot going for it as well. Say hello. How's it going, guys? Fantastic. You know what I think of when I think of Paradigm, Brandon? I think of a dime. You know what a dime is? It's a 10 out of 10. Fantastic. Front uh, molded cap right through here. Rotoflex pin box. And then your rougher storage is in through here. Our battery compartment's there. Hydraulic uh, reservoirs all in through there. It is a uh, six point hydraulic auto leveling system, which is controlled inside from this guy. Uh, 30 pound propane tanks, one on either side. We have any pass through storage, which is a little bit skinny through here, like my friend Brandon. Um, but we do have some rear storage at the back we're gonna get to. City water connection. Uh, we're winterizing from out here. Blackwater flush kit, outside shower, outside receptacle. Uh, the blue hoses for the outside shower, nice little lights in through here, and we have nice easy access to the back side of this panel uh, by this removal piece right here. 12 gallon gas electric water heater, furnace vent, kitchen slide. These two lower slides here are hydraulic, um, running off that reservoir we talked about. We got 16 inch tires, aluminum rims, nitro fill, good looking tires, 50 amp service through here. We got some rear storage coming across the back here, flipping around. We have a roof ladder right here. Get up on your roof, check your seals. This is that rear tray I was telling you about. So we're gonna pop this up. And then speaking of dimes. We got Lily in here. <laughs> that is not alcoholic. What is that? It's just sparkling water. Sparkling water. Sparkling water. 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 Can't yeah, have that Josh. <laughs> All right, buddy. That holds 800 pounds, that tray. So I'm not four either. or five <laughs> willies. <laughs> Uh, right here we have the other side of that uh, uh, lifted rear storage, all aluminum framing on this model which you can see proof of in through there. Outside speakers, we got the other side of our tires, four step entry, steps right to the ground, nice lower handle here that's going to make, make it nice and easy. Great awning coverage on this guy too. So take a step back Brendan, you can see where the, uh, the first awning starts, we got all this full size here awning coverage. There is a split in the awning, like there's, you know, there's two awnings on this and they, they both divide right through there. And then because they put the stairs on the back side of the kitchen slide, we're going to have easy access to our washroom with the slide outs closed. Pass through, storage in through this side with a propane quick connect down below. Awesome guys, let's have a look inside. Right on guys, we're inside that Paradigm 385. You're walking through the kitchen space up into the front living room area which is fantastic. No carpet here, lots of height. I'm six feet tall. I can walk anywhere up here very, very easily. We got a set of trifold sofas on either side of me here that are gonna both turn into beds. We got three windows in each slide, which brings us a lot of nice natural light. And then further forward here, guys, we have an entertainment system across our theater streets, which we're gonna get to, uh, but nice big TV, well finished off entertainment center. Um, just, just really well done in through here. Cupboards on either side. All the cupboards in here are gonna be soft closed, guys, uh, which is a theme from Paradigm. Uh, Vic makes things very nice and smooth. Storage here down below. Nice uh, fireplace built in. And then we're gonna have some kind of a tray here. So I haven't actually done this yet. I assume we gotta do this, this, and then it's gonna pull out for us nicely. So in there, we get some nice bonus storage. Great spot for your DVDs, maybe. Uh, but just make sure you strap that back up when you go traveling again. You know, some more storage on either side there. I love how this is backlit in through here too. Looks super sharp. Flipping around towards the rear of the trailer, we have those uh, uh, theater seat recliners that are nice. Uh, they are power recline. All right, we do got the two cup holders in between there. If you guys want to snuggle, fold that up out of the way. Easy peasy. Coming down into the living space or straight into the kitchen dining area, we got our freestanding table and chairs over through here. Nice live edge table, looking hot. I uh, notice there's no pedestal leg underneath there, so there's nothing kind of uh, in the way of your feet when you're, you're sitting here eating your dinner. And when you're sitting here eating your dinner, you're looking out on your site, door side windows out this way. And look at the size of these atrium windows, guys. Fantastic. MCD shades throughout as well. All right, so they're gonna go up and down like that nice and easy. 
Um, I mentioned uh, we're walking in the main door here. Because the doorway is behind the slide, we have beautiful, nice, easy access to our powder room. I'm going to squat check here. Fantastic. Lots of back space, hip space, shoulder space. I love how they do the blonde furniture, uh, sorry, cabinetry in through here. Makes it feel really nice and bright. Storage there, there down below. There's no um, medicine cabinet, uh, but we do have one in the main bathroom with epoxy port tops in through here. Now, uh, we've walked in the main door. We are going to have access to the fridge from the side of the road because these slides are going to come in. We're going to be able to get to, for sure, the left hand side of the fridge with the slide that was closed, which is fantastic. This is a 18 cubic foot gas electric fridge, not the residential on this particular model. Into our rest of our kitchen here, we've got uh, you know nice storage. Again, the nice blonde for, uh, cabinetry, nice and bright. Okay, big microwave through there. We got the insignia oven. Look how deep this is. Fantastic. Drawers here on either side of the oven. Storage on either side of the oven as well. And then over here to our island, we get some more solid surface countertop, undermount stainless steel sink, pull out faucet. Great spot right here for a garbage can. And then we got three drawers here. This guy right here rolls out over top of our sink, giving us a nice drying rack. I do like to point out this nice gold hardware too on this stuff. This looks really classy. Now, continuing to look forward, keep in mind our front living room area is up through there, but behind that, we got shelving for pantry space. Our hutches through here so we can plug in like our coffee maker, easy peasy. And then below that, we got drawers, and cupboards underneath. I do think these guys have done the best job of where they're positioning their door into their rear bathroom slash bedroom, pushing over on this side. Uh, it, just, it just feels much more open. But before we get to that, we do have this extra little bit of storage. What do you think is supposed to go there, Brandon? Nothing. Nothing. Well, this it looks here, nice. It does look nice. We do get some pantry space in through here though. Fantastic. That does finish that off well. Up into the rear bath or rear bed. I got a spot here I can sit down and put my slippers on. Love it. We got our dresser here across from our bed. Again, all soft closed drawers. Nicely finished off at the top here. Even this is going to be soft closed. All right. TV's on an angle a little bit facing our bedroom. We got some closet space in through here. Great footwork, Brendan. More drawers in through here. Okay, and then flipping things around, looking out into the bed. Uh, we got three windows around the bed, bringing some nice natural light. USB charging with receptacles on either side. A little bit of a bedside table. And let's check out a little cubby over there. Fantastic. Now, because we have a powder room up front, we have this ridiculous, huge rear washer here at the back. We get all this storage space. All right, we could be using that for laundry. We could be using that for clothes, for totes, whatever you want to do. On the other side of the washroom, we get all of this storage. All right, four drawers down below that. Man, this might be our longest video yet, Brennan. Big trailer. Big trailer. Into our shower. I'm six feet tall. Even with the lifted rear storage underneath me right now, still a ton of height through here. I got this nice little teak seat I can sit down on, shave my legs. The way they finished this off is fantastic. I got a spot I can put my soaps. That's a killer shower. Now at the back wall here, we got this accent. Very, very nice. All right. No medicine cabinet. Should have a medicine cabinet, and besides the point. Epoxy tops, and I guess we're making up for it with all the rest of the storage in through here. Ooh, covered right there and then a soft closed lid on our toilet but check out the window behind me fantastic awesome this all checks out guys hopefully you enjoyed that video please like the video subscribe to the channel share that with your friends you can email us here at sales at lazyacres.com or you can call us at 705-833-2539 have a good day